morning, boys and girls. This is Mikey Galuski, and welcome back to Galuski's Outdoor Sports. We're here on Rocky River in Ohio. February 1st, we've had a couple days warm up. The river was froze over, so everybody's been watching patiently, hoping for some fishable water. Yesterday, we're just starting to get fishable here and there, and there was some fish caught. You know the Rocky River, I'm gonna be as close to the mouth as possible, because I think that the fish come in and out of the lake. They don't venture up too far unless they're already up there and stuck for they just want to stay. But uh, maybe a few fish get up river, but the majority of them are sticking maybe in the first couple miles of the river. So let's get started here. I got a little hike into the woods over here and uh, we're going to what is called the pipe. It's right near the marina on the Rocky River. Pretty good little spot, usually stays open to some extent, you know, uh, throughout the winter, but uh, that's not always the case. But today, with the warm-up, I'm sure that water's going to be running great, and there's going to be fishing. Catch that tail out, man. Slaughter them. There's a hole over there, too, that's generally pretty good. And if you go upriver, you know, the next two miles, pretty good fishing. I start the reel spinning and then with an open left hand hold the line freely off to the side as I'm following through with the cast. Line peels off just as the line would come off the spinning reel. I then end this continuous motion by realigning up with the spool. Here I am mending my cast to eliminate line drag in the water so that I can keep my float moving naturally and maintain control over my float speed. There are no gears on the center fin reel, which means there's no gear ratio to assist you on the retrieve. It makes a lot of work reeling in after each drift. I use my right hand to stop the rotation of the reel as my float hits the water. If you fail to stop the spool manually, it will continue on, to spin, peeling off line as it goes, guaranteeing you a real mess. No pun intended. See, now it's in the current, and it's keeping steady pressure on my line, unlike a spin reel, where we'd just be coming off the bail, you know. So this keeps pressure, you can slow down your float. Like that. Or you can speed it up. Or you can stop it, start it, and make action on your jig. That's it. So it's a little tricky to learn, but once you get it, it's very enjoyable. Now, I'm no pro either. You gotta save the butt every time. Back up, bend your line, and you sit. You let it drift. Wait for that baby to go down. In the long rod, plus I'm sitting way up here too gives you height so that way you can keep your line out of the water and it's not dragging in the current if, it, if you get a drag a loop in your line it'll pull your float you'll be going way too fast especially in the winter time in the winter time the object is to slow it down that fish got to be excited the river's flowing the melt the ice is melted off you know they're thinking springtime You want to use monofilament rather than fluorocarbon for your main line because it floats 
whereas fluorocarbon will sink and cause your line to hang up in the current. The floating line also makes it very easy to pull up and out of the water when mending. I'm about 150 feet out right now. This is a little longer than usual. But there's nobody here. So as long as I pull hard, keep that line mended, I keep going. Hey, all that's fun. Take me till Christmas to reel it in. Like I said, no gears. There you go. See what you get. No bells, no whistles, no nothing. No drag. It's all your fingers. So when that fish is running, you gotta stop it palm it or use your fingers this way to slow that fish down and keep your line taut. So it makes it interesting. Right in that little eddy right there. Cold water, them fish don't want to be sitting right up in the fast water. They want to be close to where it is. Maybe dart in and out and grab food if they see something washing down. Them fish are going to be sitting in them eddies. You know, they're lethargic because of the cold temperatures. So they don't want to work too hard. Alright, now I'm just catching the scene. Starting to move a little bit. Nice and slow, right on the opposite side of that flow. Might have had a hit. never know. Could be a snag. Could be bouncing off a bot, catching on a rock. I don't know if you can see what I got on here. Yeah, let, me show you. let me show you. There's one of my hand tied jigs. That don't catch a fish nothing well. Notice how I'm mending my line after I hit the water. See that little minnow in there? That's dinner. Breakfast. River flow is beautiful. Nice green. Fairly stained. I love it. Perfect. clear across the river there. Well, I got you. I might as well give you a little hint. If you want a line, look for military gear. It's not expensive. I have fleece liners inside my waders. Let's see. see it's a fleece bodysuit, you know, like coveralls. And uh, you can find those online. And I'll tell you what, I use that. This is all military gear under here. And you know, stretchy, skin tight type stuff. And I like with the hands, with the hole like I got, the, the, the thumb hole. I love that because it keeps it from riding up on my arms and it keeps the wind, in, you know, off of my wrist when it's real cold. I just like it a lot. If they were in there looking at that uh, jig and didn't like it, now they got eggs. 
See if they like that. You got to switch off. I almost put a bead on. There's an egg sack.